All right, readers, here is the general outline of my volleying challenge or striking challenge, whatever name I have for it. I can't really remember right now, but the kids would get ready in zone one on each side of the gym. We use super soft foam tennis balls, so I'm not worried about balls hitting each other or hitting the kids. That's a nice safety thing and a comfort for the kids too. But anyways, level one. They do their tick-tock step and hit with their paddle or ball or volleyball, whichever one it would be. And after they hit, they go around to the other side. So we're just getting lots of steps in. And if they get four hits over, then they move back a zone. And they're trying to complete that same process. And this time, I'm looking really for the kids who can't or the kids who are struggling. Because in the rest of class, while we're moving through these progressions, I can really make feedback specific and helpful for them, making sure that hope, at the very least they're getting the nice building blocks down. That's round one. Round two, all the kids are starting back at zone one again, except now if they don't get it over the net, I'm not quite as picky. They're, that's still their intent. That's still their goal. But if they miss, it's not the end of the world. So now is where we're following the pattern. You hit it over, that was you at level one. You go around, now you're at level two. You go around, now you're hitting from level three. And then this last one, boom, we're hitting from level four. And from level four, we would go back to level one. And I always, I always preface that round as, you know what, guys? Level 3 or level 4, zone 3 or zone 4, that's going to be pretty tough for some of you. And I don't want it to discourage you. This is where you're trying to figure out, hey, what levels are helpful for me and maybe what levels right now or zones are just you know too difficult. They won't really help me grow. So we expose ourselves to all of them so we can really learn more about ourselves. Level 3 is where they make sure they're not, make, they make sure they never go to the same place twice in a row. So if they want to, they never have to go to zone two. Maybe they don't want to go to zone four, but they should never go to the same place twice in a row. So this is our level where we really get lots of variability. Hit it over. And then that was level one, so now you need to be at a different level. Level three. Maybe I'm going back to level one, maybe level two. Just never to the same place twice in a row. And then level four is kind of a, a self-assessment for themselves when they try to hit from their best challenge zone. But it's also a spot for me where I see them at a level that's just the right amount of demanding for them and really brings out probably the truest shape of their form. So if they've got all their elements in that level, that's great. That shows me they're right where they want to be. If there's some little things missing, that's where I can try to be helpful. And that's the flow of the activity.